Hello, I got a quest for get consistent belt width. And that's what I should do. So here, this person should I get this uh, consistent belt width. So if you do something like, you know, you go into free form, you switch this to surface, you pick this as a surface, you increase the offset, and you use step build, right? And then you use extend. You can see it's kind of difficult to get a consistent width. So one thing you can do, one thing I recommend is that I'm just going to go ahead and go into the side viewport here, isolate this. So what you can do is just kind of move this down. Then you can use the slice plane. Kind of move this up here. You know, get the kind of curve that you want. For example, get the kind of angle that you want. So you can rotate like this. Then you can uh, activate the split option, slice that move it down or up, slice that. And now when you switch to element, you can just delete this. You now have a consistent width right here. Of course, even if you weren't doing that, just go ahead and delete that. What you can also do is just select this planar on the Z axis, Z axis, it's even. You can then kind of rotate it where you want it to be. So that is a very easy method right there. What you can also do, for example, is double click on this and then create a shape out of that. Press one and you can go in here and like delete some vertices here. Right, you can set this to be a corner, for example. You can use normalized spline if you don't need so many vertices. Or what you can do is just go into rendering and then activate this option here, rectangular and you should now have an even width right here. And of course, one more thing you can do is you can just create your belt right here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this up. So here you can get a consistent height or width or length whatever you need. You can apply a bunch of loops through here. You can apply path to form and pick the path and then move to path, choose the appropriate path to form axis, you can use stretch, and now you also have a consistent width as well. So what I would do here is just collapse that. And simply go in here and bridge these faces. So there you go. So those were some methods to get a consistent belt width. Thank you for watching and take care.